Hey guys, my name is Samina and I've recently traveled to Bali, Indonesia and I'm really excited to share my experiences with you. The first couple of videos are going to be just about the accommodations we stopped at. The place we stayed at was Anapuri Villas at Pabin Beach. This place is absolutely one of the best places I've ever stayed at. From service to the architecture, everything was on the highest level. What is really unique about this place is their personal approach to every guest. We were first warmly greeted at the airport of Denpasar by our personal chauffeur who had been driving us around the island throughout the whole stay. We arrived to the airport quite late, so by the time we reached Anapuri Villas, it was only dark. However, I will play some footage of the welcome moment. We were warmly greeted by the, our personal villa staff with Lee and cocktails and introduced to each team member. Then we were taken on a tour around our villa, which I'm about to show you. We will start off our tour from the entrance into our villa. We stayed at a three-bedroom villa, Puri Santi, which has two pavilions separated by a pond. As you enter, you walk through a path with abundance of greenery surrounding you. The first pavilion consists of two bedrooms, one upstairs and one downstairs. Let's start from the bedroom downstairs. Officially, it's a bedroom number two. Each bedroom is equipped with a TV, a Samsung mini tablet, a ceiling fan, air conditioner, bedside reading lights, a local phone, and a wardrobe. Bedroom number two is also closer to the pond and has a terrace with two comfy seats where you can read a book and enjoy the environment. Bedroom number two has an open bathroom designed in a more natural style. There are closable blinds in case you feel more comfortable in a less exposed environment. Going upstairs, there is a bedroom number 3. Each washroom is equipped with all needed amenities, from hair dryer to personal care items. Each bath was filled with rose petals and it was really beautiful. The bedroom number three has an outside spacious couch with a view to the entrance path, the pond, and the second pavilion. I love to take some time to meditate on the couch and enjoy the morning sea view. Now I'll take you to see the second pavilion. The second pavilion consists of a foyer, common washroom and a living room on the first floor and a master bedroom on the second floor. Let me show you upstairs first. As you enter the bedroom, there is a bathroom on your left and the bedroom on your right with no barriers like walls or doors in between. The bedroom number one is the biggest by area and has the closest view to the sea. However, in the middle area, it's slightly blocked by the roof, but it's not a big deal. This bedroom also has an outdoor couch on a balcony with a view to the pool area. There is also something unique about this bedroom. This bedroom has art on the ceiling and each tells a different story.
There is also a window that looks into the foyer. And a view to the pond as well. Now I'll take you downstairs. There is a common washroom with an open shower that links to the living room. The living room has entertainment in both digital and physical forms. From a whole packed shelf of books to the PS4 game console. Amongst these books, I found a guest review book and I found a lot of positive feedback. I could sense the excitement while reading reviews from the past guests of our villa specifically. There is also the same Samsung tablet that each bedroom has, which has hundreds of movies of your choice. We enjoyed family movie nights. If you need to catch some fresh air during your movie night, or simply want a quiet spot to read one of the memoirs provided in the living room, there is a comfy seat right outside. As you exit the living room, you will see the staff kitchen, where your personal chef and the villa staff prepare meals on your demand, and the dining area combined with the lounge area. I will quickly comment on our dining space in Annapurri Villas. Daily breakfasts were included in our stay and we had different variations such as American, Continental, Indonesian and special breakfast along with complimentary basket of fresh pastries and freshly cut fruit platter. The lunch and dinner menu offer a wide range of quality cuisines such as Italian, European, Mexican, Mediterranean, Spanish and Asian. The meals were absolutely delicious. And remember the guest book I told you about earlier? There are plenty of reviews saying how amazing the food was. Also, all meals were always prepared from fresh ingredients. Not only do you feel a lush taste in your mouth, but the environment around you really adds up to your dopamine levels. Here at Anapuri, each villa has been individually designed to reflect one of the four traditional elements wind, water, earth, and fire. Puri Santi Villa stands for the wind, and indeed, we felt the warm Balinese breeze every day while enjoying our meals, hanging out in the lounge, or while tanning under the sun near the pool. This poolside gazebo was my favorite place. I loved spending time just laying there and watching waves for hours. Even at night, I was falling asleep while watching and listening to the waves. Moreover, it was a full moon season when we stayed at Anapuri and watching the moonlight reflecting on waters was truly magical. I think the only thing that bothered us during our stay was the small shake caused from the waves hitting the wall between the ocean and the ground, but you could get used to this over the time. Annapurri Villas does not own the Pabin Beach and there is no direct access to it. However, the Pabin Beach is within 5 minute walk from your villa, where you can enjoy walking on the black sand and take some beautiful pictures, especially during a sunset. In conclusion, I just want to say that Annapuri Villas made our stay in Bali unforgettable and beyond our expectations. The quality service was really what stood out for us. Professional staff with shining, warm smiles made us feel really welcomed, bringing the positive vibes every day. 
everything at Annapuri Villas was very well thought through as everything needed for the best experiences is all included in the rates. Airport transfers, daily breakfast, personal luxury vehicle with a chauffeur for up to 10 hours a day, 24-7 butler service, ride in the villa, entertainment systems, 24-7 access to the fitness center, and of course, 24-7 security around the territory. Here's a bonus fact for you. Some celebrities like Noah Cyrus, Zed, Afrojack, and others stayed in an approval before. It was really sad for us to leave, and as we were leaving, the villa staff came outside just to say goodbye to us, and that was really touching and really reflects the personal touch of their service that really stands out. On that note, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the first couple of videos are going to be just about the places we stayed at during the, our travels. And the following videos are going to be about the sites we visited and the things we've done during our vacation. So make sure to keep an eye on my channel and subscribe. If this video helped you to decide whether or not this is the right place for you during your vacation here in Bali, please give it a thumbs up and that would make me happy too. Also, I'm pretty active on Instagram so go follow me for some artsy content, dance videos and more. And if you have any more suggestions, please send me a DM. I'd be happy to hear any feedback. Again, my name is Samina and until next time. <laughs>